Hey, Sally Hancock back here with a video showing you what I purchased at the Stampin' Scrapbook Expo that I just got back from in Denver. These are in no particular order and I can't remember all the booths that I got these at, so here we go. So, first thing was the Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer, the small eight and a half inch one. I thought this would be really handy for when you're working with small pieces and just, you know, to leave it out if you need to make a cut on a smaller piece of paper that's less than eight and a half inches. So I got that. And my most exciting thing that I was so glad was there is the Tim Holtz glass mat. Super excited about that. And the tools that goes with it, the straight edge. One edge has metal and one edge um, is beveled for... Um, you know, drawing a mark and the other edges for cutting. So I, I really like the idea of this because it hooks on the edge of your mat and you could line it up with the grid on the, on the mat to use it as a straight edge. So I was really excited about that. And it also has a, like a scraper. So if you have a mess, you can scrape it off. Um, then I got 12 packages I just got the whole box of these Daris tape runners that I love. I use them all the time because at Tall Mouse they're always only $1.50 at the beginning of the show. So always get those. Um, ooh, maybe I should show that with my other papers. So Authentique had a booth there, which I have never seen, and I was super excited because, oh my goodness, their papers are so pretty. So I got this 12 by 12 one called Saucy that is like a cooking patterns and really cute vintage uh, women cooking. Let your inner domestic goddess shine. So just really, really cute papers and cut aparts. And there was, I don't remember how much things cost either. It has, do, do, do. doesn't say how many pieces of paper are in here, but pretty. And then they had a whole bunch of six by six pads and I am a sucker for a six by six pad. I thought this one was really cute. It has, it's called um, Meadow, but it reminded me totally of Heidi and my, my kids are part Swiss and so we started a Swiss Christmas tradition and I thought this would be really cute to make um, recipe books for Swiss Christmas dishes because we have Swiss food for dinner um, when Santa Claus comes on. Uh, I've heard many different days but we usually do it around the 6th of December so I thought that would be fun to make them recipe books. Then this one is Alpine and really cute winter things. And it says there's only 16, but I think they made a mistake because this book is really fat. There's a whole bunch of kind of the same papers, but they are so cute. Oh, so cute. And this one is Party. So this one is Birthdays. And, you know, obviously you could use it for other things too, but it's like a birthday themed one. And then the last one is stitches. So this was sewing. I thought that was so cute. I just loved the, oh, everything. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, but so cute. Okay, so that was all from Authentique. Let's see what else I got. Oh, another very exciting thing. Oh, they're all messed up. This is the latest release of the Distress Oxides. I am collecting them. I don't do a lot of stamping or much of anything, mixed media or anything, but I love these Distress Oxide inks. And so I want every color. So this whole set was $48 the night of the 
mega make and take. So my sister got it for me for an early birthday present. I was super excited. So now I'm only missing, uh, what is it? Carved pumpkin. That's the only color I'm missing. So I'll have to find that on Amazon or something. Okay, then um, we went to Pinecone Press and got me and my two sisters. We All three of us got one of these 6x8 curved back spine. It has the, uh, doo -doo -doo, the ring binder and you just glue it in and then you decorate this however you want. I thought that was a cute book. And also the night of the Mega Mega Take, they had a deal for, excuse me, for Queen and Company. And I saw this on Facebook and I really, really wanted it. It is Magical Characters Kit. And it didn't have what I was hoping it did, but still, I'm glad I got it. Okay, so it came with uh, the foam pieces. So one, two, three, four, five. So you can make 15 cards. There's 15 of these foam pieces. Goofy's hat, the um, uh, wizard hat, Donald's hat, the bow, and then this makes Mickey Mouse ears. All these cute shakers. There's stars and hearts. And I think, oh, and little tiny bows. Those are bows, hearts, stars. Anyway, so cute. These are bows. So there's a few different colors of bows and a few different colors of stars and hearts. But all these shaker bits. And then it also came with a die set so you can cut out the papers to go on top of your foams. So the, this is for the ears, the magical hat, the bow, Goofy's hat, um, Donald's hat. So I thought that was a really good deal. And then this cute stamp set that has the sayings. And then a cute paper pad. These cute, cute papers. And these are like glossy. So they're really nice. Really nice. So that will make some super cute cards. I was very excited about that. But they also have these really cute shakers that had like the little Mickey Mouse pants and oh, I don't remember what else, but anyway, super cute, but I did not get those because I thought they were in that kit, but they weren't. But that's okay. I am okay with that. Okay, next we got vouchers for doing the crop. You get $20 for each day you did the crop, and we did both days, so we got two $20 vouchers, and this time they had a booth that you went to to spend your vouchers. You could pay extra to get, you know, if, you, if it rounded up to something more than the $20 voucher, you could um, pay extra to get what you wanted, and you could use both vouchers in one shopping trip so you could, you know, make it work out a little bit better. So I got this crop kit collection pack that has 12 papers and a sticker sheet and some cut of parts. And here's the stickers. I thought that was really cute. It has all the buttons that you can earn and I just thought it'd be really cute for my photos from the expo. And I got the stamp set that kind of goes with it of crafty things. And this cute um, ephemera die cuts that went with this paper. It's cute, cute. And some enamel dots that match. And then my sister and I split a pack of washi, so I chose, let's see, cute pumpkins. So that's what I got with my um, voucher. Then when we got there, they gave us this pink shopping bag from the Wandering Planners. And if you took three or more classes, you got a free 12 by 12 paper pack. This is American Crafts 
Sun Drifter. And here's, they're single sided. They're all very pretty too. That's 36 sheets in there. So I got that. I didn't buy that. I got that for doing three classes. Okay, then I got some Ranger gloss paper. I saw a really neat uh, technique that Tim Holtz and Jennifer McGuire both showed with the Distress Oxide and Micro Glaze. Yeah, Micro Glaze. So I wanted to try that, so I got this paper to try that out. And let's see. I got these Insta Pockets 2x2 two two squares by Snap Studio. I thought they would be really cute. I'm going to try a December Daily this year, so I thought those would be cute for that. They had this foam tape that was only a dollar each, and I've already used some. And I got some red line tape that is two different widths, quarter inch and three eighths inch. And I got, let's see. Get there. There was the other one. And this. Okay, so the night, one night of the crop. Oh, I think it was. Scrap that, but I'm not sure. Came and had some really awesome deals. So these things were only 50 cents each. So there's some snap cards and some flare. And a paper pad, I think, was a dollar. So cute doodle bug. So much pun. And these cute stamps. I thought they were really, really cute. These were all these were one or two dollars each. I can't remember, but a pretty good deal. So I got those. And I got some glittery uh, sequins to make shakers. And I got this um TARDIS um, because my sister and I went to Comic-Con and David Tennant was there and so I thought that would be really cute to put on the page of his, with his picture. I uh, got two colors of Nouveau Drops. So one's glitter, one's gold. This color is dazzling blue. And I got these two colors of the Nouveau embellishment mousse. I thought those would make really pretty sunsets. And at my class for the cards that we use the mousse on, she suggested these, they're kind of hard rubber, not hard hard, but stiff. And she said if you emboss and then rub the mousse on top, then it, um, it'll it get just the raised portion of your embossed things. So I thought I've got three of those to try. And I got, let's see, I got these three containers, four containers. I thought those would be good to put um, sequins in. Sorry, my, I couldn't remember what those were called for a second. Those were from Tall Mouse, and I got these cute charms. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but like a princess chair and a little star with a gem. Those were cute. And I got these metallic rub-ons. I'll have to have my sister show me how to use those. I'm not sure. And I got, oh shoot, I got this super thick white um, embossing powder because um, she showed us a technique at the Sparkle and Sprinkle booth of if you sprinkle it on a card and then heat it from underneath. So you don't need glue, you don't need ink or anything. You just sprinkle it straight on the paper, uh, heat it from underneath, and then it melts it down on and it looks like snow. It looked really pretty. Can't wait to try that. Oh, I got this cute keychain, Fiesta keychain at Craft Fantastic. So it came with two, what are these called, frames, and the glass to go in them, plus a cute little flower and a um, 
swivel um, lobster claw and a key ring and all these cute these cute images that you can choose from so you pick whatever one you want to put in there so cute I mean the cactus and the and the girls oh so cute I'm excited to make that so I shared that my sisters we shared um, buying some dots and some glue to make that project and then there were these cool blending brushes that I'd never seen before. Oh, so soft, so soft, but we got to try them, so I thought I'd give them a whirl. I liked this skinny one and then this one just for general. So just, just blending, blending them in. They're made of plastic. I can't remember what booth had those. And then for spending $20 or more at Tall Mouse, I got another Disney shopping bag to add to my growing collection of shopping bags from Tall Mouse. But I got that. And that is it. So quite a haul. I got a lot of exciting things. I am super happy with all my purchases. And I can't wait to make a whole bunch of stuff with them. So thank you for watching. And we will see you next time. Bye.